We be on them highways Tell them be cool, we on the byways Bring out the word, they looking sideways Oh, oh I don't do it my way We on them highways Tell them be cool, we on the byways Bring out the word, they looking sideways Oh, I don't do this my way I hold a six, man Demons rolling up, I'm about to fix that Scoffer about to talk, I got the word for him I ain't even know I even heard from him Scripture's coming out, it ain't no word from him uh, As soon as I pull out the laws, they run away You was laughing, he gon' laugh at your calamity uh. Jews according to the Bible. Right. So-called blacks and Hispanics, they are the Israelites according to the Bible. Come look at the sign. Look at the sign. What tribe would you be would you call yourself from? But you said African American, right? Yeah. Africa was named after a white man, Leo Scipio Africanus. He conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic Wars. Rome gave him the title of Africanus. That's why you have the land um, Africa. It's actually uh, before that was called the land of Ham. America was, they say, was discovered by Amerigo Vespucci, the Italian navigator. That's also a white man. So you say you're African-American. Can two white men make you? That's impossible. So why do they call you African-American? Those are bywords. Give me um, Deuteronomy 2837. So what tribe would you be? Judah, what tribe? Did you look at the sign too? What tribe would you be according to the Bible? Judah? So, once again, what's African American? Remember, Africa was named after white man. America was named after white man. But they call you African American. Is that possible? Think about it. That's just, that's like them slapping you in the face every time they say it. Your real nationality, your true heritage, according to the Bible, you're the Israelites. That's what God said. You are an actual Israelite, according to the Bible. Now, let's prove it. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment is an amazement, such as it's an amazement and astonishment when the other nations call us outside our God-given name. Call us as African-American, black, Hispanic, Puerto Rican. We're actually, we're the Israelites. We're an astonishing it to these other nations because our people, look at what we're doing on the Sabbath day. This is actually not what we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day, but we're going to teach you. We're going to do it. Those where we have the time to actually teach you what we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day. Read on. A proverb. A what? A proverb. A proverb is an old wise saying such as black people do what? Black people love what? Fried chicken, right? Hispanic, <laughs> Hispanic carry knives. That's a proverb. Read on. And a byword. A what? A byword. A byword. That's what you walked up and said, I'm, I'm black. I'm African-American. Those are bywords because God calls you by your tribe. Whatever tribe that is right here, we are we are the sons of Jacob. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. We will be called the Israelites according to the Bible. Read off. Among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Because if you go and you travel to Africa, you're still going to be called black. Right? Or African American. Or Europe. African American or black. But the Bible calls you Israelites. So who are you according to the Bible? What? Israel. So now, let's prove it. Let's go to the curses. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it shall what? Come to pass. It shall come to pass. This is the future prophecy. Moses, he's speaking to the Israelites, his people. Read on. This is the future prophecy. He means he's prophesying about what's going to happen if he break God's commandment. Read on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read the words of the Lord. Read to observe. To what? To observe. Observe. The observe means to know and so, to do, do oh, his command. Do cause an action behind it. Y'all got to work? Y'all live with your parents? Still live with your mom? So if your mom tells you to do something and you don't do it, is there a correction? Your father tells you to do something you don't do it. There's something behind it, right? You get punished for it, right? Read on. 
to observe and to do all his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curse is a good thing or curse is a bad thing? Curses are a bad thing, right? So now you understand you get, what, punished if you don't obey what your parents told you to do. God also is going to punish us for not doing what he told us to do. So give me verse uh, 68. How do we go over here to America? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, can you give me that sign right there? He said, bring us into Egypt again with ships. We walked out of the land of Egypt, but he said, I'm going to bring you into the land of Egypt. Give me Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. So what is he talking about? Let's figure out what God's talking about. This right here is the transatlantic slave trade. Did we, how did we come over here to America? Did we walk over here? Did we swim over here? Did we took a plane? How did we get over here? Uh, how did we get to America? Slave ships. Cargo slave ships. Who else came up over here on some cargo slave ships? Who else went through this? That's a transatlantic slave trade, right? They took you from the west coast of Africa, then you to the Americas. North, south, the Bahamas, back over there to Spain, back down, back down to the Caribbean. That makes up transatlantic slave trade. We're the only ones who did that, right? We don't. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What is he calling Egypt? Bondage, which is also means what? Somebody says bondage. You are in bondage also means what? Think about it. Bondage is another term for what? If you in bondage, what's that mean? Slavery. Captivity. So read it again. Read that verse again. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. The house of slavery, because during the time of uh, we were under bondage in Egypt, we were slaves. We, we're the ones that built the pyramids, the Valley of the Kings. We did that. You know that, right? We built the we built the pyramids. We don't. That's why a lot of our people they pay homage to these people. We're the ones that built the pyramids. The Israelites, not not the Egyptians, not the Africans. The Israelites. We were slaves to these people. Go back to verse sixty-eight. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse sixty-eight. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It says the Lord shall bring us into Egypt, bondage, captivity, into what? Again with ships. With what? With ships. Cargo slave ships, because they didn't bring us over here on Jet Blue, right? No? A cruise liner, a nice cruise liner, right? A plane? No, they brought us over here on what? With ships. With ships. Who else went on cargo slave ships? Who else came on cargo slave ships? This is, this is actually true black history. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Because Moses, he prophesied that these things would happen to our people if we broke his commandments. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt what? See it no more again. He's talking about our homeland, which is Jerusalem. Read on. And there uh -huh. ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There shall be sold unto your enemies. Because once we got off those cargo slave ships, we were sold to our enemies. Read on. For bond men uh -huh. and bond women. For what? Bond men and bond women. Uh, slave men, slave women, read on. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. No man shall be able to redeem you or save you. Because Marcus Garvey, he tried, right? right. And he fell. Because that's why we sit out here marching to be treated equally. Obviously, uh, they tried their best, but it didn't work. Because we have to come back to keeping God's laws. Malcolm X, he also tried. Martin Luther King, he tried. Harriet Tubman, she tried. But guess what? We still stuck under oppression. Are all people not still being shot down in the streets? Are they? Yeah, no justice, no peace. Nobody's nobody's uh, going to jail for it. We're the ones that are still being oppressed. Give me um 64. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. It says the Lord shall scatter us among um, all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. Scatter us how? During slavery. We were scattered. We were taken to all these different places to, to serve other people because this is what we did. We This is one of the curses. Read on. And there thou shalt serve other gods uh -huh. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. It's there. Once you get off these other places where you, well, I'm going to scatter you uh, for slavery to serve these other people, he said you're going to do what? And 
there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. We're going to serve other gods. We're going to forget that we're the Israelites. We're going to start to serve these other gods that are in the lands that we're, of the people that we serve. Read on. Even wood and stone. Wood would be Christianity. Stone would be the cobblestone, which is um, uh, what the freaking uh, Muslim stone, the cobblestone. Islam. It would be Christianity and Islam. That's Those are the two things that we will be serving. So, who are we according to the Bible? Who are we? Say your name again. The Quran, right? Say that again. Jawan. So, who are we according to the Bible? Still thinking about it? Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Who else did this happen to? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That means one people will be taken from one plantation to another, or sold from one plantation down to the islands. Read it again from the top. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So who else did this happen to? Who else did this happen to? But before you go, who are you according to the Bible? Are you African American? Black? Who are you according to the Bible? Israelites. So what do you got to do? You got to come back. You got to come back. Keep God's laws. That's what you have to do. Keep God's commandments. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.